fish out of Lake Michigan. Sunday morning, September 9th. We just left Peoria City Dock last night. Really nice location, really nice dock, close to downtown, Super Walmart across the river, museums. Um, it's just a, a lot to do right there in town and a lot of amenities. We are now coming to the Peoria Lock and Dam. It is a wicket type lock and dam. Um, as you can see to the right, they have lowered the wickets because the water is high. So we can just pass right through. Um, when the water is lower, they'll raise the wickets, dam up the river, and then we would have to go through the lock. how it's been. It's uh, beautiful. We're cruising at about six and a half knots, running the engine at 1500 RPM. Uh, we have about uh, one and a half to two knot current going with us. A uh, lot of eagles. We're south of Peoria by about 10 miles. Uh, we're trying to get to Havana, 
uh, there's a public dock there that we're going to land on. Uh, meeting a lot of really nice people. We met the English family last night. They came down, were uh, enthralled with our journey. They saw our videos and they brought us a wonderful bottle of wine and some Danish for this morning, which we had and really enjoyed. It's cool today. We The heat uh, wave broke uh, about two days ago with a lot of rain. Uh, our biggest challenge has been kind of water depth. Uh, some of the, a lot of the harbors don't accept uh, boats that draw more than four feet. Um, our first night out of Chicago, we stopped at Juliet, and from Juliet, we anchored at Sugar Island where we bumped ground a little bit and ran over a log. Uh, the next day, the water was up about six inches, and we got out just fine. After uh, Sugar Island, we went to Ottawa. Where... Let's see, and then uh, after Henny Pen, uh, we went to uh, the uh, Illinois Valley Yacht Club. They call it the Ivy Club. We got in there. We we're going to spend two nights, but they said the water level was dropping, so we left after the first night and went to Peoria, uh, which was just five miles uh, downstream. And they had a beautiful city dock there. We backed into that, spent the night, walked the town, looked at the museum. Uh, fascinating. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, we're, as I said, we're on our way to Havana now, and uh, it's, we're traveling about 30, 40 miles a day, but it's so laid back and easy. Uh, we're getting used to the locks. We locked down over 150 feet now, and uh, this morning leaving Peoria, we went over a wing dam, uh, which was actually going over the dam, but uh, it was pretty uneventful. Oh, I forgot to mention one other thing. Uh, the English family were asking about uh, some of the electronics we're using. Uh, I'm using Navionics mostly right now. My GPS uh, charts don't go through the rivers and uh, the Navionics, I can look, download the government charts, uh, not the Navionics unless I pay for those separately. Um, and that's been really, really helpful. Also, I downloaded on my iPad uh, the Corps of Engineer charts, which has been really, really more detailed. River charts aren't real detailed in general. It either shows you where you can go and where you can't go. And it doesn't have water depths when you're out of the channel. Uh, we're watching water uh, levels, what they call pool levels, very, very carefully. Uh, the other uh, software I'm using is called ShipFinder, which allows me to identify all the ships here. The problem is I'm using my iPad with that, and I need to be hooked up to the inter, uh, inter Wi-Fi, Internet. Well, I found out that uh, my uh, iPhone has a hotspot that I'm using. So I turn on my hotspot temporarily, boot up on the iPad uh, ship finder, and it identifies all the barges that are coming through, which direction they're going in, at what speed, and their names. I can hail them on the radio if uh, there's a question about where I need to go and stuff like that. So Navionics I use for my position and navigation. Uh, ship finder works really really well and also shows your position in relationship to the barges um, although it uses Wi-Fi which I turn on my cell phone for to save my electronics I don't really uh, use it that much unless there's a question of uh, where the barges are at uh, all my electronics are on two-minute shutdowns I really don't need them once I get used to everything uh, sailing the Great Lakes and that I had my GPS on all the time I relied on it so much Right here, we got the, the buoys and mile markers. I watch them, and as soon as you're at one mile marker, or not mile markers, but uh, channel buoys, another one always shows up. So uh, it's very easy going, and we're having a lovely day. This feels kind of a crisp uh, 60 degrees, 65 degrees. Sun's warm, though. Uh, wind's coming from the north. So we got the current at two knots. We have the wind blowing us, and we're just running very, very easy. So. More, more later. Good morning. Today is September 11th. Uh, we're still in Havana. We spent an extra day here. Went to the library uh, to make some videos and stuff. We didn't get them uploaded because the Wi-Fi was too slow. Uh, it's about uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. The sun's just getting up behind me. But we're not going to be leaving right away because as you can see, it's really foggy out and I don't feel comfortable traveling when the fog's like this. 
It's about 52, 53 degrees out. Uh, it's going to be probably in the low 80s today, so we'll just have to take our time. Uh, there's a fishing boat behind me. They're out, but uh, it doesn't seem to bother them. And so you can barely see across the river. Uh, but it's a beautiful little park here in Havana. We're at the municipal dock or the Havana Nature Center dock. And it's free dock. Stay here as long as we need to. But uh, it's beautiful weather. And we'll spend uh, probably the next two days uh, traveling down to Grafton. We should be there by the end of the week. So anyhow, stay tuned. Well, today was an interesting day. We started off with a foggy morning, about 8 o'clock, waiting for the fog to lift because we could hardly see across the river. Well, it finally lifted and we left at 8, uh, Havana, and we had about a 2 knot current uh, pushing us down. We were running at 1600 RPM, doing about 7 knots, and um, then around a couple bends, the fog set in again and we could hardly see the bank. And not only did we hardly see the bank, but uh, the amount of debris in the river was absolutely incredible. Uh, after 61 miles, we're here at, uh, yes, we're at the north end of Big Blue Island, uh, 61 miles from Havana and about 59 miles uh, from Grafton. Yeah, it's a beautiful little anchorage. You can kind of see behind me where the uh, channel goes into the island. And then uh, as we look around to the front of the boat, because the current is pushing us in, is the Illinois River. And if you look carefully, you might be able to see a lot of the debris. Very quiet. Very beautiful in here. The sound of the wildlife is incredible. So this is where we're going to spend the night and uh, get an early start tomorrow. And we may or may not go all the way down to Grafton. So. Um, We'll see. We'll see how the day goes.